Yo, join the Discord server and you can, uh, talk to me. Wow, cool. Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Keed, and I hope you guys are all having a core skating day today. I know I, in fact, am because I ordered some Chinese food with Uber Eats today, and when I opened my fortune cookie, it told me I had a million years of good luck. Now, I don't need a million years of good luck because I know for a fact I'm not gonna make it to a million years old, so I figured I'd split up my million years of good luck and give you all some good luck. So, for everyone who likes this video right now, I'll give you 10 years of good luck. So go do it now because I only have so many years of good luck to hand out and I don't want you guys to not have good luck. So yeah, just like the video for 10 years of good luck. Anywho, earlier today, I was chilling on my toilet, scrolling through YouTube, but I found this video titled England is confusing. And I didn't think it was going to be that bad of a video, but I was still curious. So I watched the first few seconds of it. And let me tell you guys, this chick is a literal spoon. So grab your bowl, grab your soup and get your mouth because today we are watching the first case of a talking spoon. Wow, we've come so far in technology. Gary, I'm sorry, I'm hey everyone, so I was chatting on AM, AIM with this guy. Supposedly he was from England and I speak fluent American, so there's a bit of a language barrier. Yo, did she just say that there's a language barrier between Americans and British people? What? We both speak English. Like, sure, there might be slang or something, but that doesn't mean that there's a full language barrier. Also, as an American, I do have to say that it really isn't that hard to understand British slang. Like, I mean, I guess they do pronounce a few things differently. Like, they say Capri Sun instead of Capri Sun and Garage instead of Garage. But, like, it's very easy to understand what they're saying like calling that a language barrier is so freaking stupid like i said this chick has the mental capacity of a spoon like i, I wasn't joking but he knew really good english Ow, stop biting my toe. Bro, what? What is she talking to? Is this lady schizophrenic? What was biting her toe? I see nothing and no one else there. And I don't hear anyone or anything else either. Oh my god. So, um, I was talking to him about, like, this game I wanted. Because I was hoping he'd buy it for me. And he, it was The Sims 3 Generations. And... I really wanted that expansion pack for my Sims game. Oh, so it's one of those chicks that you meet on Discord. Oh, um, hi, I'm a girl. Because I'm a girl, you you should buy me stuff. I am entitled to free stuff from boy, so you the boy must buy me the girl free stuff. Um, no, I'm not buying you anything. Even if I did buy you for, say, The Sims 3, how would you play it if you're literally a spoon? Like, I'm pretty sure spoons can't play video games. I'm shaking my head, man. He said supposedly he wanted it too. And... Um, I'm like, well, why don't you get it? And he's like, because it's too much. I'm like, well, how much is it? He's like, it's 15 pounds. So apparently there's a bit of a language barrier there because I asked him how much it costs, not how much it weighs. I swear to God, if this isn't a troll, I quit. I am done. I will leave life. I will end. There will be no more of me at all. There is absolutely no hope for humanity whatsoever. If a teenager human being thinks that British currency is a weight measurement, and if that's real, if a human can actually genuinely be so stupid that they think British pounds means weight, there is absolutely no hope for humanity at all. Like, seriously, something's like super messed up somewhere a million percent. So, a bit of a language barrier, we went over that jump, but the thing I'm wondering is, why does it weigh so much? Okay, even if you thought this man was talking about weight when he told you The Sims costed pounds, why would you even think about how much a video game that you download onto your computer weighs? Why is that even something you consider? Like, if I didn't know that pounds was a currency and some dude told me that it costed 15 pounds to buy The Sims game on Steam, I'd be like, sir, I assume you mean dollars, and then I'm sure the dude would explain to me that pounds is a currency in Britain, and that would be the end of it. I wouldn't sit there and pause Wonder, huh, I wonder how uh, the Sims can weigh 15 pounds. That's what's confusing to me. Like, does it have to do with where England is located? Like, is it because it's like... I don't even know. Because, like, maybe it's, like, really close to Jupiter? Did this chick just say England is close to Jupiter? Oh my god, I suddenly feel like I'm turning into a spoon from watching this video. This chick's spoon mentality is like rubbing off to me and I'm slowly becoming a spoon. I will be a piece of silverware by the end of this video. So like, if you know the solar system, 
America is like in the middle and um England is like um it's the it's the closest to the sun I think the solar system the system that's made out of planets moons and the sun countries are in the solar system too man I, I don't recall that I thought countries were on our planet um just a heads up if you guys didn't know the planet we live on is called earth I, I just thought I'd make that clear because I understand things can get confusing sometimes but seriously this chick really thinks that the solar system is made up of countries and she thinks that England is right next to the sun so like if I travel to England I'm just gonna engulf into flames bro this chick has to be in something funky oh my god um so maybe there's a possibility that um there's a difference in like gravity or something so like 15 pounds is actually really light in england and she's still going on about how much a computer game download weighs. Like, why do you think that there's different gravitational pulls in different countries? And why do you think that a game download has a weight to it? Why are you literally a freaking spoon? It's just so confusing. I'm not good with planets. But, um, I think that might be it. Alright, bye everyone! Well, now that that's over, I feel I am literally a piece of silverware. Like, seriously, I feel like this chick has transformed me into silverware. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably think that this is a troll or something, and this chick is just pretending to be stupid or something. However, while I was looking at her channel, I found this video where she is literally crying over people memeing on her. So, let's unveil if this chick is a troll or if she's literally just stupid. I'm tired of everyone calling me a meme. I am not meme. I am pooping yeah. Actually, just seven seconds into the video, and I've already lost at least 30 million brain cells. Like, imagine pronouncing meme, Mimi. Like, you aren't playing Wii Sports right now. People aren't calling you a me character. It's a meme. It it's called a meme. You uncultured son of a- I don't know how you get Pupinha and Mimi mixed up, but it's getting old. Ew, that was so gross. She really couldn't have cut that out or something. Or, or like, maybe just don't do that when you're filming a video. What even is a meme? Is that some sort of brain tumor? You guys heard it here first. Uh, meme. Or, wait, wait. <clears throat> A uh, meme is a brain tumor. You heard that right. All of you meme channels out there, Grande, Dolan Dark, Sirenek, all of you guys, you all are just, um, well, uh, brain tumors. <laughs> oh my god. Because if it is, you guys need to shut up. Shut up. I don't care what you think of me. If you don't care that people are calling you a meme, then why are you out here making a whole video about people calling you a meme? Like, you're really sitting here ranting about being called a name, and then you just say, I don't care that you guys are doing it. But I am just gonna sit here and make a whole video about you guys saying I'm a meme. And I'm gonna also ask you guys to stop it. But I, I, I don't care at all. It doesn't affect me. I am Pupinha Stewart, so stop calling me a meme. It's getting on my nerves. She's really crying over this? Oh my god, dude. Get a grip. Jesus Christ. I've had enough of the cyberbullying, but the worst thing that I was probably called was a meme. Because I don't know what it means. I'm Boomina Stewart, not Mimi. I don't know who Mimi is. Do I look like her or something? Who is Mimi? Jesus Christ, calm down. What is this chick's problem? She's really having a mental breakdown over being called a meme? Holy crap, man. I, I, I just love humans, man. I love them. Stop saying I'm Mimi. I'm not a Mimi. I'm a Boobina. Well, there you have it, guys. This chick is 100% not a troll. She thinks England is right next to Jupiter and the sun, and she also believes that there is a language barrier between British people and Americans. Jesus. Well, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you did enjoy today's video. I did just want to thank you all so much for watching today's video until the end. It really does help me out a ton, and you guys are the real G's for that. Don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell to get all notifications so you never miss a daily upload. And yeah, guys, I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace. Out. Yeah, Pete has a D to keep it real. Swallow the pill, show me the thrill. Follow
follow the dream to keep it silly grind on the daily just to stay up late money is great but the fans are what makes it okay he wants a smile on your face never see a frown and on the rainy days he'll keep on grinding till he makes his place in the world full of fakes get the shit out his face it'll be okay if you don't stay